All right, here we go. Welcome to um, Be Hot Yoga, our online class, 75 minute class. It'll be a little bit different when you're doing it without the heat, so you always want to um, move mindfully, but we still receive the same benefits from the practice of the heat just for the connective tissue, central nervous system stress. Um, so here we go. We start with pranayama breathing. Inhales through your nose, exhales through your mouth. Line up your feet, your heels and toes. Interlocking your fingers tight to the webbing. You bring your knuckles underneath your chin. And here you go. We begin. Inhale, the elbow arms, they go out. The shoulders rest, the heels are heavy, the elbows up, the wrists are straight. And now you exhale, exhale, look back towards the ceiling. You leave with your shoulders, working to bring the palms, wrists, forearms, elbows to touch. And again, inhale, pressing the full weight, contracting your quads, engaging your abs, expanding through the chest. The elbows are up, the wrists are straight. And now you exhale, exhale, dropping your head back, looking towards the ceiling, HA ha sound, triceps to the floor, elbows touch towards the mirror and the ceiling. And again, inhale, you reach the arms out like you got wings, elbow arms go out, shoulders heavy, heels are heavy, elbows are up. And now you exhale, exhale, dropping your head back, looking towards the ceiling, leading with the shoulders, palms, wrists, forearms, elbows, they come to touch. And again, inhale, feet down, quads contract, cores engaged, chest expand, wrists are straight, elbows are up. And now you exhale, exhale, looking towards the ceiling, leading with your shoulders, can you bring your palms, wrists, forearms, elbows to touch? And again, inhale, pull the abs in, press the feet down, bring the chin parallel, elbows go up, lungs are full. And now you exhale, exhale, dropping your head back, H.A. Ha sound, looking towards the ceiling, palms, wrists, forearms, elbows, they come to touch. And again, inhale, feet, quads, core, chin, wrists are straight, elbows up, lungs are full. And now you exhale, exhale, drop your head back, looking towards the ceiling, leading with the shoulders, palms, wrists, forearms, elbows, touch. Last one, first set, feet down, quads contract. Core's engaged, feel the skin across your chest get tight, elbows up, wrists are straight. And now you exhale, exhale, dropping your head back, closing around the ribs, the lower abdominals, leading with the shoulders, palms, wrists, forearms, elbows come to touch, and then we'll change. In between each posture, we take a little pause, a little break. Just let yourself recenter, working on your autonomic breathing system here in, um, in pranayama breathing. So we go for the second set here, line up the feet, heels, and toes. If you're not already together, interlocking your fingers, tight to the webbing. Knuckles underneath your chin, and here you go. We begin, inhale, feet down, quads contract, cores engage, chest expand, wrists are straight, lungs are full. And now you exhale, exhale, let the shoulders rest towards the heels, you leave with the shoulders, bring your palms, wrists, forearms, elbows to touch. And again, inhale, you're pressing the floor with the feet, you're pulling your abs in, the shoulders are relaxed, the wrists are straight, the elbows are up. And now you exhale, exhale, dropping your head back, leading with your shoulders, still using your feet, triceps to the floor, elbows touch towards the mirror in the ceiling. And again, inhale, press the floor away, engage your core. Feel your lungs up, the skin across your chest gets tight, the elbows are up. And now you exhale, exhale, close down the ribs, but the ribs don't sink towards your hips, your waist. You're trying to work the triceps parallel to the floor as you get the elbows to touch towards the mirror. And here we go. Inhale, feet down, quads contract, cords engaged, chest expand, wrists are straight, lungs are full. And now you exhale, 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 empty the lungs, looking towards the ceiling, leading with the shoulders, palms, wrists, forearms, elbows come to touch. And now we'll change arms down by your sides. Next up, autonomic breathing system is dressed with auto mass and Excuse me. Yeah, um, half moon. Auto -dressing. Lost myself right here. But it's, 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 it's class, right? That's how it goes. Here we go. Breath and movement. Inhale your arms, your head sideways, interlocking your fingers, releasing your index fingers. The heels are heavy, the hands are up, the abs are in, the lungs are full. You feel your lungs and you warm up with length. Right and left, left and right. Breath is steady, mind is steady. No interruption, no disruption in your breath and your breathing pattern as you look to elongate from side to side. Throughout the practice, you want to keep your abs pulled in. The only time we don't have the abs engaged in this practice is when you're doing back bends. Outside of that, belly button, diaphragms in and up. The concept is mulia bundle. Top of the pelvic bowl, pulling the abs in and up. All right, we'll stop in the middle. So here it goes, all about length. Press your heels down, pull your abs in, fill your lungs up, straighten your arms, squeeze the hands, palms, the lungs are full. Taking your time, you come up and over towards the right hand side. It's half moon, Ardhashandrasana. So you're looking to get this nice, smooth crescent shape on the outside edge of your body. Keep pulling your abs in. 
Continue to breathe smooth. So the first thing you wanna know about the practice is your breath, four to six seconds in and out. If you can't take that inhale, exhale breath, you'll be under your flexibility. Also, your eyes are open, you see yourself in the mirror as the body starts to contort, the shoulders and hips coming out of the line. You're beyond your flexibility, so you want to bring yourself back to that space where you can breathe and be square. And we try to do our best to follow directives. You sink body weight in your heels, contracting your quads, bringing your hip further towards the left, straightening your arms, your throat is visible, you squeeze your hands, palms, you fill your lungs up, and taking your time here. You're going to reach towards your index fingers, stretch towards your index fingers, reach towards your index fingers, and change. Inhale, you reach up, stretch up, reset your breathing, reset your spine, heels, Hips come forward, use the heels to fill the lungs. You reach up, you stretch up, squeeze the hands, palms, taking your time. You come up and over towards the left hand side. Half moon, Ardha Trindrasana. So you're trying to take the divot out of the armpit, the hips, or waist. You're trying to make that nice, long, smooth crescent shape along the outside edge of your body. But the whole time, you're trying to maintain breathing four to six seconds in and out. Chest expand. Lower abdominals, pressing the CO2 out. Hopper, the heels press down. The index fingers reaching to the opposite direction. But at the same time, you're trying to make sure the hips are square, the shoulders are square, you're taking your time, making small adjustments. You pull your abs in, and here we go to work. You're gonna sink body weight in the heels, contracting your quads, your hips come forward, your abs engage, your throat is visible, your arms are straight, you squeeze your hands, palms, your lungs are full, and you're gonna take your time. You're gonna reach, stretch, reach, stretch, change, inhale, you reach up, stretch up, reset your breathing, reset your spine, we go into our backward bend, taking care of yourself all times, first backward bend, so you go easy, you sink body weight in your heels, bringing your hips forward, use your heels to lift your chest, lift your sternum, feel your lungs, you reach up, stretch up, relax the shoulders, relax the head, and you start to come up and over the exercise ball. Still breathing, four to six seconds, in and out. Breath is steady, mind is steady, heels are heavy, hips are forward, chest is lifted, shoulders rest, and once again, the concept is dristy. You're gonna look for the wall, reach for the wall. Look for the wall, reach for the wall. Change, use your heels, your lower abdominals, reset your breathing, reset your spine, pull your abs in, and you come forward, flat back, straight spine. So taking your time as you come down, abs stay engaged, eyes stay open so you don't get dizzy. Pedal in your heels, squat down, feet flat, squat down, heels up, shaking the head, yes and no, whatever you need to do, loosen up, part of the hands to feet pose. Once again, smooth, even breath. Breath is steady, mind is steady. All about compression here, gallbladder, liver work. All right, from here we go. So here you take your time, you line up the feet, the heels, the toes, as close as comfortable. You wanna soften the knees, stomach on your thighs, chest on your knees. Pulling your abs in, relaxing the head, 12, 18 pounds, average weight of the human head, the head hang between the shoulders. You got your grip, palms of the Achilles calf muscle. Take your time, here we go, feet down. Hips up, knees back, abs engaged, heads relaxed, you're breathing smooth as you go through this cycle, it's continuous. You're continuously pressing the heel down, shifting the hips up, pulling the abs in. Eyes stay open, you're breathing yourself smooth, breathing smooth, hugging yourself tight. Breath is steady, mind is steady, abs are in, head is heavy. Relax your shoulders away from your hips, bring your elbows closer together behind your calf muscle. And here, shift those hips up and just roll body weight forward, roll forward, come forward, roll forward. Taking your time, releasing your grip, your hands, palms, prayer, beyond your feet, biceps to ears, use your legs, change and heel, you reach up, stretch up, you get to the top, and your arms come down by your sides. And we try to find a little stillness in our practice. And now you recover four to six seconds in and out. A lot of fresh alternated blood in your head, so at this moment you feel a little different, a little inebriated, but it's the name of the game, right? All right, second set, never being overwhelmed. Inhale your arms over your head sideways, interlocking your fingers, releasing your index fingers, pressing your heels down, pulling your abs in, filling your lungs up. You reach up, you stretch up. Lengthen breath, lengthen body, and you come up and over, right hand side. Half moon, Ardha Trindrasana. Heels are heavy. Quads contract. Hips are forward. Abs engage. Hips are square. Shoulders are square. Chest is open. Throat is visible. Arms are straight, no space between your hands, palms, you press your heels down, you squeeze those hands, palms, and here you go, you're going to reach, stretch, reach, stretch, change, inhale, you reach up, stretch up, reset your breathing, reset your spine, heels are heavy, inhale, you reach up, stretch up, arms straight, biceps with the ears, taking your time, lengthen breath, lengthen the body, you come up and over, left hand side, it is half moon, Ardha Trindrasana, the breath, smooth as silk, smooth as glass. That's why you're gonna let you know where you're in your practice. You're beyond your flexibility. Can you give me that four to six second inhale breath? 
You can see yourself in the mirror, hips square, shoulders square, hips are forward, chest is open, abs engage. Find your heels, squeeze your hands, contract your quads, straighten your arms, you feel your lungs up, and you're gonna take your time. You reach towards your index fingers, stretch towards your index fingers, reach towards your index fingers, change, inhale, you reach up, stretch up, reset your breathing, reset your spine, going into our backward bend, body weight in your heels, 60, 40, 70, 30, your hips come forward towards the mirror, your sternum, your chest is lifted, you inhale, you reach up, stretch up, relax those shoulders, let the head go, squeeze those hands, palms, and let's go, up and over the exercise ball. Use the press of the heels in the floor to lift the chest, to lift the sternum. Relaxing the shoulders, relaxing the head, squeezing the hands. You continue to breathe smooth. And here, once again, is the eyes. You want to take your time, feel your lungs. And as you look for the wall, you reach for the wall. Look for the wall, reach for the wall. Change, inhale, you reach up, stretch up. Taking your time. Exhale, you come forward. Flat back, straight spine. Bending the knees when necessary. Letting the head go. Shaking the head, yes and no. Pillowing the heels, working the hips. Squat down, feet flat, squat down, heels up. All right, the second set, part of the stops on the hands to feet pose. So you line up the feet, heels and toes, soften the knees, stomach on your thighs, chest on your knees. This posture is about compression, less about the um, straight legs. Relax your head, you let the head go. Fruit dangling from the vine, you reach around, scoop up the heels. You got your grip, your breathing's intact, and here you go. You begin, inhale, feet down, hips up, Knees back, abs engage, heads relax, breathing smooth. Heads relax, breathing smooth, abs engage. Feet are down, hips are up, knees are back. Looking for that cycle, looking for the compression. Continue to breathe super smooth. Here you take your time, you bring your shoulders away from your ears, back towards your hips. Bring your elbows closer together behind your calf muscle. A little more oomph, get those hips up towards the ceiling. Now you bring the hips forward, hips over heels, hips over heels, hips over heels. Releasing your grip, your hands, palms, prayer. Use the reach of the arm, the press of the legs. Inhale all the way up. You get to the top. Arms come down by your sides. So once again, we address the autonomic breathing system. We just address the skeletal system, spinal traction, half moon. So next up is the muscular system. Here we have aqua, ukatasana. Um, these exercises, three parts of the exercise. Try to remain here, stay in this space. All about muscle contraction. So you take that step out, heel toe. Line up the feet, heels and toes. Hip width distance. So here, breath and movement. Inhale your arms up, palms flat. So here, five fingers together, thumb and index fingers. You're reaching towards the mirror, but inside of the, in front of the mirror, you want to see the top of your shoulders just above your fingertips. You pull your abs in, you see your neck visibly long, you take your time, take a deep inhale breath, exhale, don't sit down, let's go, sink back, sit back, you're trying to put your butt on the wall behind you, maximum body weight in the heels, it's aqua ukatasana, you feel like you're about to fall down backwards, but you pull the abs in, sink the toes down, bring the thighs down, bring the chest forward, activate the triceps, make the neck long, all this contraction, and you still fall back, go back, sit back, change, use your heels, you press yourself up. Second part of the exercise, arms stay here, inhale, roll up on the balls of your feet. So high on the balls of the feet, not on the toes, roll up on the balls of the feet. You pull your abs in and take your time. This time you sit straight down, hips down, heels, knees, feet, they're rolling up. Your triceps are activated, your neck is long, taking your time. You're looking to work your thighs parallel to the floor. You're looking to work your triceps parallel to the thighs with the same distance between your hands, your knees and feet. Change, inhale, you press yourself up, heels come down, arms stay there. Third part, you're going to roll up on the balls of the feet a little bit, so you squeeze your knees, thighs, heels float, abs engage, triceps engage, and here you want to take your time, you want to breathe and lower yourself down as slowly as you can. How slow can you go? Sinking down, coming down, sitting down, coming down, sitting down, sinking down. You're at the bottom of the posture, it's all about engagement. Re-engage your knees, your thighs, your core, your triceps, and how slow can you come up? Take your time, inhale, squeeze up, breathe up, breathe up, squeeze up. Squeeze up, breathe up, heels down, arms down, feet together, shoulders roll back. And once again, check your breathing, breath is steady, mind is steady. All right, it's round two, so you'll step back out to the right hand side, line up the feet, heels and toes. Once again, always finding the time to smile at yourself in the mirror, right? We're super serious about our practice, but at the same time, you know, a light spirit always helps. Breath and movement, inhale your arms up, palms flat. Engage the abs, breath is steady, mind is steady. Here we go. You sit back, sink back, maximum body weight in your heels, knees over ankles. 
knees over heels, right? Makes it awkward. Toes come up, no worries. Bring the toes down, sink the thighs down, pull your abs in, bring your chest forward, make your neck long, activate your triceps, all that, and you still fall back, go back, sit back, change, use your heels, press yourself up. Second part, you roll up on the balls of your feet, the breath is steady, the mind is steady, the smoother you breathe, the easier it is to balance. Keep those heels high. They don't drop one millimeter, one centimeter. Here you go, you sit down, sink down. Your head against the imaginary wall, your back against the imaginary wall, your triceps engaged, your neck is long, taking your time, thighs parallel to the floor, triceps parallel to the thighs, same distance between your hands, your knees, and your feet. Change, inhale, you press yourself up, heels come down, arms stay there. Third part, aqua ukutasana, addressing our muscular system. So you roll up on the balls of the feet, squeezing your knees, squeezing your thighs, engaging your core, you're finding your eyes, your triceps. Here we go, old school, we lower ourselves down for 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one. You're at the bottom of the posture here. You want to test the knees. You'll bounce, you'll bounce, you'll bounce, trying to get the hips to stop above the knees. If there's a ball in your left, that ball will roll forward. Find all your engagement, and we come back up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Heels down, feet together, shoulders roll back. And you breathe smooth as silk, smooth as glass. Moving on to our joint health next. Garrasana, eagle pose. So once again, um, in this space, I'll talk. I'll run my mouth a little bit for everybody can, so everybody can catch up, right? Breath is steady, mind is steady, working on our joint health. Not what it looks like. It's about we get, all get the same benefits. It's about compression in the joints. So see yourself in the mirror. Inhale your arms, your head sideways. Identify your arms. Exhale, you bring your right arm underneath your left elbow. Your wrists are straight. Your shoulders square. Your chest is open. Your abs engage. Your elbows down. You sit down, sink down. Upper body back. Right leg up. Right knee down on top of your left knee corner. Point your toe. Tuck your toe. Twist your legs. Squeeze your arms. The main two components are pulling your abs in and breathing smooth as silk. Smooth as glass. In that space, you're just trying to take away as much space as you can between each and every joint as you continue to breathe smooth. Find your heel, sink your hip, straighten your spine, and change in your arms up. It's breath and movement. Exhale, you bring your left arm underneath the right elbow, wrist is straight, shoulders square, chest is open, elbows down, abs engaged, you sit down, sink down, upper body back, we just warmed up for it, bring your left leg up and over. Once again, we're just trying to take away the space, two main two points, pull your abs in and feel your lungs, tuck that toe, point the toe, twist those arms, squeeze the arms, tight like ropes, your job is to breathe and pull those abs in, the muscles need oxygen, so you must breathe smooth, pull the abs in so you can maintain, you stabilize, you're taking away that space, you sink into your heel, you drop those hips down, you bring the upper body back, and now change, inhale, arms up, right to the second set, here we go, we don't mess around second time, exhale, bring your right arm around, wrist are straight, abs engaged, sit down, sink down, upper body back, stay low, right leg comes up and over, take away the space between your foot, your calf, your knee, your thighs, your hips, your shoulders, your arms, your elbows, your forearms, your wrists, your palms, fingertips, is skin to skin. Sink into your heel, square in your hips, upper body back, square in your shoulders, sit those hips down and line yourself up and change, inhale, arms up. Breath and movement, exhale, bring your left arm underneath the right elbow, wrist is straight, abs engaged, fingertips below the nose, you sit down, sink down, upper body back, left leg up, left knee down on top of the right knee corner, take that space away, all the space you can take away between the fingertips, the palms, the wrist, the forearms, the elbows, the arms, the shoulders, the thighs, the knees, the foot, the calf, compression, bowl constrictor, you slowly but surely get tight. Find your heel, square your hips, sink your hips, straighten your spine, square your shoulders, and you want to line yourself up. Change, inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms come down by your sides. We take a break right here. So once again in our practice, take a little break. We try to understand, looking how we feel, um, a real assessment. That was the warm up. And from that space you move forward using how much energy you think you need this day, this moment in your practice. Um, no two days are the same. And we go into the cardio part of the practice, our balancing series, Dandu Amana, Janyu Shirasana. Um, standing forward at the knee. So join me when you're ready. You line up the feet, heels, and toes. You shift the body weight over towards your left foot. Inhale, bring your right thigh parallel to the floor. So once again, you want to stack. Shoulders over your hips, hips over your heels. Abs engaged, neck is long, spine is long, breathing smooth. It is very hard to do this first part for one minute, but you keep the abs in, keeping the shoulders relaxed. That's your point of focus, that's the concentration. If you're going for your grip, your grab, you go roll forward, 10 fingers on the lock, it is your knee, your shin, your foot. 
You got your grab, your chin away from your chest, the breath is steady, the mind is steady. We're looking for points of resistance. You take your time, you extend, heels away, toes are in, eyes are forward, legs are straight, breathing smooth. We practice our piece. And here you sink the elbows down to the calf muscle, and we'll hold for five, four, three, two, in one, change, slowly reverse yourself out. We enter the cardio part of our practice. You're gonna just shift the body weight over towards that right foot. Inhale, left leg, left thigh up, parallel to the floor. All about your alignment, shoulders, hips, and heels. Left heel underneath the knee, toes flexing towards the face, and you wanna breathe smooth. It is hard enough to do this space. This is the posture. Everything else is just an add-on from this space. And if you're ready to add on, you pull your abs in, keep your chin away from your chest as you hinge forward from the hips, 10 fingers in the lock. It is your knee, your shin, your foot, Eyes are forward, you see yourself, and you slowly take your time. Extend that heel out, pushing those toes in, pulling those abs in. Not about how far you can go, how far can you go without being in a fight, within a struggle, accepting where you are today, two legs straight, upside down L. We're practicing our piece, the elbows come down, and we maintain in this space right here for five, four, three, two, in one, change, slowly reverse out, feet together, shoulders roll back, and we try to find a little stillness in between each posture. It's a hit exercise, right? Heart rate just came up. So now you take your time, clearing your lungs, your lungs attached to the top of your shoulders, your clavicles, you want to empty the lungs using your lower abdominals. All right, second set, forehead to the knee, you're going to shift the body weight to the left foot, don't hesitate, inhale, bring that right thigh up, you're going for your grip, you're going for your grab, but check the abs, check that standing leg, and make sure you can see yourself. Mainly you want to keep your chin away from your chest so you can breathe, right? You can see yourself in the mirror when you're ready. You extend that heel towards the mirror. Bring those old toes towards the face. Working to get the leg straight. Keeping the abs engaged. Shifting more body weight forward in that standing foot, that standing leg. You want to bring your elbows down to your calf muscle. You want to bring the elbows down below your calf muscle. You want to squeeze the elbows against your calf muscle. You want to tuck your chin to your chest and let gravity bring your forehead to your knee for five, four, three, two, and one. Change, slowly reverse out. We reset, you shift the body weight over towards your right foot, inhale, left leg, left thigh comes up, you get your grip, you get your grab, but before you move forward, standing leg straight, abs in, eyes forward, and you're breathing smooth, never moving forward in a panic. You got those things, and here you go, you extend, heels away, toes are in, eyes are forward, abs engaged, breathing smooth, shift that body weight out of the heel, and here, once again, we practice our piece, gravity does down, you bring your elbows down to your calf muscle, you sink your elbows down below your calf muscle. You squeeze the elbows against the calf muscle, and you're gonna tuck your chin to your chest, and you let gravity do the work. Let that forehead fall to the knee for five, four, three, two, and one. Change, slowly reverse out, feet together, shoulders roll back. Next up, Dandi Yamada Dandi Rasana, standing bow pulling pose. So 10K, super cardio, anytime you bring your hand over your head, your heart rate increases. And so in this space, we just take our time. See what you got. Bring that right palm up. We're trying to grab your right ankle from the inside. Inhale your left arm up. You reach up and stretch up. Any posture we do in yoga, you always want to maximize the space between each and every vertebrae. So you pull your abs in, fill your lungs up, make yourself long. And here, three things to do. You breathe, you reach, you kick. You kick, you reach, you breathe. Act like you got 10 minutes to come in. That's how mindfully and slow delivery you go into the posture. You're pointing the toes, squeezing the glute, kicking up, kicking back. You're elongating your spine. There's compression into your kidney. You get a kidney flush in this space. Also, it's high adrenal. You're squeezing into your adrenal glands. You keep those eyes forward. Maintain your breath, your breathing. And once again, you want to work on alignment. You can see yourself, you bring your knee back in line with your hip, working the chin, shoulder, instep into one line. You want to look for length. Either way, however you want to go, you extend or you hold in this moment for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Change, slowly reverse yourself out. Stand tall, shoulders relaxed. Right to our cardio, you bring your left hand, your left palm up and out. You get the grip inside and outside. Pull your abs in, use the breath and movement, inhale that right arm up, you reach up, stretch up. So it's half moon on the right hand side of your body, the fingertips can't get any closer towards the ceiling, you point that toe, squeeze those glutes, three things to do. You breathe, you reach, you kick, you kick, you reach, you breathe. Once again, you're balancing between the kick and the reach, you fall forward, you kick back a little bit, you fall back, you reach forward, you're balancing, not in your foot, you're balancing the kick and the reach. 
abs are in, eyes are full, you're looking for length, but also get compression to the kidney, slowing down blood flow to one side of the body, shifting the blood flow to the other side. Your eyes are full, so you can see yourself. You start to work your knee in line with your hip. You work your chin, shoulder, instep in one line. And right here, you look for maximize that space, right? Maximize compression for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, in one, change, slowly reverse out, feet together, shoulders roll back. Taking our reset, cardio, super cardio in this space. High adrenal posture, because we're squeezing into the adrenal glands right behind the kidneys, but also a kidney flush. All right, it's round two. Reach down and grab that right ankle from the inside. Dundee Mano Dundee Rasana, standing bow pulling pose. You inhale your left arm up. You reach up and stretch up. And here we go, we go old school this time. Charge your body forward, reach forward, stretch forward. Put your fingertips on the mirror. At the same time, you kick up, kick back. Trying to get the sole of the footprint on the ceiling, right? It is 50-50 with your reach and the kick. That's where your balance is. It balances also in your breathing. Full lungs, four to six seconds, in and out. So you can have the muscle endurance. You are looking to elongate your spine. You're trying to make your best seat, your best that's you, but you line yourself up, knees, shoulder, chin, instep, everything in one line. Here we go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Change, slowly reverse up. We go into the opposite side. It's our cardio work. Heart rate is up. You got to slow it down with the breathing. Reach down and grab that left ankle. Use the breath and movement. Inhale, you reach up, stretch up. Right arm, get your length, length and breath, length and body. Abs are in, eyes are forward. Take your time, let's go. Charge your body forward, reach forward, stretch forward. Kick up, kick back. It's like bar class, you point your toes, squeeze, squeeze your glute. You're kicking up, you're kicking back. Your eyes are forward, your abs engage. You wanna rock more body weight forward in that standing leg. Contract that standing leg quad. Keep that chin away from your chest. You can see yourself so you line yourself up in the mirror. Super small movements in here. You extend a hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and now we change. Stand tall, shoulders rest, feet together, and we slow our heart rate down. Next up is balancing stick. Tooling and Dasana at the back, back of your mat, back of your towel. Always breath, always breath and movement from here. Inhale your arms, your head sideways, interlocking your fingers, releasing your index fingers. We've seen this space before, it's half moon, except you warmed up this time. Hands are up, heels are down, abs are in, you step forward with the right foot, keep your chin away from your chest, and here we go. It's body down, chest down, leg up, hip down. It's always length before down, using the kick of the leg to bring yourself down, keep your chin away from your chest, you see yourself in that mirror, and you fall flat as a T. Tongue, tacos, table, stretch, change, inhale, you step up, you step back, reset your breathing, reset your spine, heels are heavy, hands are up, abs engage, take your time, you step forward with the left foot, and here we go, leg up, hip down, body down, chest down, can you sink the face of that right hip towards the floor, as you reach that right leg wrong, you want to put your index finger on the mirror, you want to put your toe on the wall until you fall flat as a T, and change, inhale, you step up, you step back, arms come down by your sides. Slow in the breath, slow in the breathing. And we're going to round two. So here, round two. Inhale your arms up, interlocking the fingers, releasing your index fingers. You want to pull your abs in, lengthen in breath, lengthen body, take your time. Step forward the right foot, and here we go. Body down, chest down, leg up hip down. It's about being long. Natural human tug of war. Somebody's pulling your hands, somebody's pulling your legs, and they're going to pull you flat, flat as a table. Change. Inhale. You step up. You step back. Pull those abs in. Reset your breath. Reset your breathing. Here we go. Step forward the left foot. Left foot step forward. Chin over your chest. Here we go. Leg up. Hip down. Body down. Chest down. How long can you be? Not how about how far you come down. The longer you are, the flatter you are. The longer you are, the flatter you are. Change. Inhale. You step up. You step back. Arms come down by your sides. And here we're going to take our time. We will turn to the left hand side of the room. We're going to go to Dandi Yamana Bahaktapada. Pashimotanasana. We're going to get our heart rate down, coming out of cardio series. So here's a stretching pose, separate leg stretching. And so here you go. Take your time. Inhale those arms up, hands, palms spread. Exhale, take a big step out. Heels in one line, toes in one line. You want to pull your abs in. You want to turn your feet to face in front of you. If you got back stuff, you turn the feet in a little bit more, releasing the back a little bit. 
Pull your abs in, reach those arms out with as much grace as you can. You come forward, flat back, straight spine. And once again, we don't aim the top of our head for the floor. You're going to aim your face, your nose, your mouth towards the floor. We always want a straight spine before we have straight legs. So if you need to soften those knees to do so, to get your hips, use the mirror on, on to your left-hand side to what? Shift the body weight forward, get the hips over your heels so now you can pose your wheel. All right, separate leg stretching. Inhale your arms up, hands, palms spread. Exhale, big step out, heels in one line, toes in one line. So here you pull those abs in, and here you go. You come forward, flat back, straight spine. Eyes forward, abs engaged, taking your time. And you want to aim your face to the floor, anything but the top of your head to the floor. Eyebrows, nose, mouth to the floor. Chin away from your chest. And here, if you can maintain this space, first of all, let's give me a straight spine before you give me straight legs. If you look in the mirror and your hips are way behind your heels, soften those knees until you get the hips in line with the heels. Once the hips are in line with the heels, hands on the floor, you use those feet to shift those hips up. Now you reach around and grab those feet from the outside edge, and that's just to promote more body weight forward in your feet. Life moves forward, so you continue to roll that body weight forward in your feet. Abs engage, you got your grip. You start to work your, your forearms out top towards your shin, and you're going to use the grip right here, not to pull yourself down, but to broaden your chest, broaden your shoulder, pull those abs in, press those hips up, light contraction of the quads, and you just let that forehead fall to the floor, sink to the floor, come to the floor. Here you take your time, your arms reach out, your feet press down, your hips thrust forward, and here you take your time, you step back, hands, palms prayer, exhale, arms come down by your sides. All right? So we slow the heart rate, anti-depression posture, a lot of blood flow going to your head, resetting the serotonin, melatonin, being careful when you come out of this posture because there's a lot of blood flow in your head, so don't whip yourself out, especially in the hot classes, you'll start to feel dizzy. All right, here we go. Round two, inhale your arms up, hands, palms prayer, exhale, big step out, heels in one line, toes in one line, palms face, face the floor. Here, pull those abs in, let's swan dive, come forward, flat back, straight spine. Anything to the floor except the top of the head, right? Face to the floor, eyebrows, mouth, anything to the floor. Pull those abs in. We warmed up this time. So here you go ahead and go for your grip and then start to press the floor away, shifting the hips towards the ceiling. It's like a leg press. Press those hips up. Pull those abs in. Open up your spine. So use that grip to broaden your chest, broaden your shoulder. Pull the abs in, taking your time. And you want to use a pranayama exhale breath to let that forehead sink to the floor, fall to the floor, sink to the floor, come to the floor, nose to the floor. You release your grip, arms out, feet down, hips thrust forward. Take your time, your right foot steps back to place, hands, palms up, hands, palms down by your sides. And we reset. Next up is triangle, trikonasana. All right, so triangle master posture, a lot going on in this posture, so you just want to take your time, work yourself, first set. First set's the long set, so you've got enough time, don't hurry in. Inhale your arms up, hands, palms prayer. Exhale, take a big step out, heels in one line, toes in one line, palms face the floor. So you're going to pull your abs in and you're going to turn that right foot out towards the right, negotiate the distance between your feet, negotiate your heels, negotiate your breathing. Pull your abs in and now slowly take your time, sit down, sink down. You want to work that knee over heel, knee over ankle, small adjustment. You're working up the piriformis, old school, you bounce, you bounce, you bounce like a motorcycle ride. Once you got that thigh, it's closer than you get it to parallel, your palms will face the mirror and you move both arms. Your right elbow is just at above your right knee corner. And once again, it's a warrior posture. So if I come by and push you and bump you, you don't fall over, right? So your feet press down, your feet pull in, your abs are in, your spine is long, your chest is open, you look to the shoulder, you reach to the ceiling, you fill your lungs up pranayama and let your hips sink directly between your two feet. Change, inhale, arms up, you straighten the leg, turn that right foot in, turn that left foot out, negotiate your breath, your breathing, you're catching up right here. Filling your lungs, you got your heels in one line, you got those abs pulled in, and then you just sit down, sink down, knee over heel, you bounce, you bounce, you bounce. Once you get comfortable, they're upside down ill, wherever you're at today, your palms face the mirror, and then you move both arms, your left elbow is just at above your left knee corner. The triangles between your torso and the thigh, you want to pull your abs in. But at the same time, it's a warrior posture. Your feet are pressing down, your feet are pulling in, you make your spine long, bring the crown of your head away from your tailbone, you open up through the chest, you're looking toward the shoulder, you're reaching towards the ceiling, look at those fingertips, and exhale, fingertips don't move, but the hips sink right between the two feet. Change, inhale, arms up, you straighten your leg, turn the left foot in, you step back to place, hands, palms prayer, exhale, arms come down by your sides. Breath is steady, mind is steady. In between the postures, we always want to be trying to find the space of stillness, practicing our peace. All right, slowing the heart rate down. There's a lot going on in that posture. 
Round two, so Simon says yoga, inhale your arms up, hands palms first, exhale, big step out, heels in one line, toes in one line, abs engaged, palms face the floor, turn that right foot out. Let's go, sit down, sink down, knee over heel, knee over ankle, upside down L, palms face the mirror, you move both arms, right elbow just at above your right knee corner, and let's go to work. Pull that right heel in towards your left instep, pressing the left edge of your foot into the floor of the mat, light contraction of the left glute, engaging the core, elongating the spine, opening the chest, looking to the shoulder, kissing the shoulder, reaching to the ceiling, sinking those hips, and change, inhale, arms up, you reach up, stretch up, turn that right foot in, turn the left foot out, pull those abs in, extend your reach, lengthen breath, lengthen body, take your time, you sit down, sink down, palms face the mirror, you move both arms, left elbow just at above the left knee corner, and let's go to work, pull that left heel in towards the right instep, pressing the right edge of your foot into the floor in the mat, contract that right glute, Pull your abs in, give me length, crown of the head away from the coccyx of the tailbone, the chest is open, you look to the shoulder, you kiss the shoulder, you reach the ceiling, reach to the ceiling, and change, inhale, straighten the leg, turn that left foot in, step that right foot back to place, hands, palms come to prayer, arms come down by your sides. Breath is steady, mind is steady. All right, here we go. So. Forehead to knee, Dandi Manabhakta Pada Joni Shirasana, endocrine system work right here. Very important posture, um, stimulating our endocrine system, our immune system. All right, here we go. Inhale your arms up, hands, palms, prayer, thumbs across. Take a slightly smaller step out towards the right. Line up your heels, line up your toes. You're going to pull your abs, quarter turn in towards the right. So here's very important not to twist that, that left knee. So the left foot is turning in 35, 45 degree angles. And here you take your time, warming up. You want to bounce. You bounce, bring the side of the body forward, left side comes forward, squaring your hips, squaring your shoulders, taking your time. And once we've got that space, it's always hopper. You press your heels down, feel your lungs up, reach up, stretch up, tuck that chin in, look towards your belly button, and exhale, you roll in, round in. Very important to empty your lungs, throat choked, eyes open, third eye contact point. Maybe you need to separate the hands, bend the knee to get that third eye contact point. No worries. We stay in that space. And here we go. Simon says, can you get your feet flat on the floor? Using the feet to straighten your legs, also using the feet to square the hips. The eyes are open, the abs are gauged. You're taking these little sips, right? You need oxygen so you can stay in. You got that third eye contact point, forehead to your knee. You bring your palms back to prayer, beyond your feet, your biceps with your ears. Use your legs, use your breath as you change. Inhale, you roll up, round up, chin comes up. You get to the top, you quarter turn left, quarter turn left. Working to square your hips, squaring your shoulders. Pulling your abs in. Once again, let's bounce. Let's bounce. Take your time. You're going to square the hips, square the shoulders, the best of your ability. Look at that right foot. There's no twisting in the knee. And here we go. Inhale. You reach up, stretch up. Tuck that chin. Exhale. You roll in, round in. Throat choke, eyes open, third eye contact point. So no matter what we're doing in yoga, you're trying to get length in your spine. There's a ball between your thigh and your knee. So you keep bringing your chest and your stomach away from the thigh. Working your forehead to your knee. Your feet are flat. Your legs are straight. Your hips are square. Your eyes are open. Your abs engage. Third eye contact point, your palms in prayer, your chin and chest, your core's engaged. Use those legs. Inhale, you roll up, round up, chin comes up. You quarter turn towards the right, right foot back to place, arms come down by your sides. Always taking a little space in between each posture to have this little reset. All right, here we go. It is breath and movement. Inhale, your arms up, hands, palms, prayer. Exhale, big step out, heels in one line, toes in one line. You pull those abs in, quarter turn on the heels, squaring your hips, squaring your shoulders, pressing your heels down, filling your lungs up. You reach up, stretch up, tuck that chin. Exhale, you roll in, empty those lungs. Working your forehead to your knee. Third eye contact point is what we're working for. It's all ab work, but we ask a question, answer a question. Are my feet flat? Use the feet to straighten the legs, looking at those hips. Left hip forward and down, right hip up and back. Use your abs, use your body as one unit. Get third eye contact point, forehead to your knee. Palms back to prayer, chin stays on the chest. Use your feet, use your legs. As you change, inhale, you roll up, round up, chin comes up. You get to the top, you quarter turn towards the left, quarter turn towards the left. Squaring your hips, squaring your shoulders, tucking your chin, taking your time. You roll in, round in, throat choke. Third eye contact point, forehead to your knee. Feet are flat, 
Hips are square, eyes are open. Looking at compression using your hands, your feet, your legs, your abs, your eyes, your arms. One unit to get third eye contact point, forehead to your knee. Palms prayer, chin, chest, core's engaged. Use those legs, inhale, you roll up, round up, chin comes up. You get to the top, quarter turn towards the right, right foot back to place, arms come down by your sides. All right, we're going to do tree and toe. Um, yeah, we do tree and toe, two separate sets, right? You got time to do two separate sets of tree and toe. So here, inhale, bring your right leg up, center your body costume, half standing lotus prep in our series, a deep hip opener. So you just want to allow that hip to fold open as you pull your abs in, aligning yourself, shoulders, hips, and heels, align your breathing, and you work one hand, two hands, palms of prayer, and you just want to breathe, right? Letting gravity take effect on that knee. As you practice your piece, we're slowing down from our standing series in this space. And change your lower the right leg down. Breath is steady, mind is steady. Inhale, left leg, left heel. We bring it up. In these cases like these postures, these asanas, these asanas, you start to understand that we're not symmetrical. So one hip may be a little tighter, maybe a little more flexible than the next. So you take your time making your adjustments. The main adjustment is going to be in your abs and your breathing, letting that, that knee go. And once again, one hand, two hands, palms, prayer. As you practice your piece, heel down, crown of your head towards the ceiling, purple chakra. And change, lower the left leg down. All right, we go to toe next. Pocket the on the toe stand. You do what you can, two different postures, um, and we, we move forward. Game of millimeters, game of centimeters here we play. Inhale, you bring that right heel up. It doesn't have to be as high. Half standing, it can be across the right left thigh. You got it across the left thigh, you pull your abs in. Maybe you hold it, maybe you get hands, palms, prayer. Here, you look in front of your mat, three or four feet, and you start to aim your chin to where your eyes are looking. So don't come straight down, you come forward from here. Two hands on the floor, ten fingertips, you walk yourself forward to almost like a little plank. And from here, you start to sink your hips back towards your heels, walking your arms back towards your sides for balance. You immediately start to pull your core in, and you start to make your spine long. Spine is long, abs are in, taking your time, and here you take your time. You work one hand, two hands, palms to prayer, or maybe you just clap. Taking your time, you slowly reverse yourself out. And change, lower the right leg down. Inhale, left leg, left heel, you'll pull it up, you'll pull it in. So once again, it doesn't have to be as high, right? It can be across that right thigh. Letting the knee, letting the hip open up. One hand, two hands, palms of prayer, even if you can't, you hold that foot, that leg. Everybody here, your job is to drop your eyes. Once you drop the eyes, maybe you hinge a little, maybe you hinge a lot, but you aim your chin to where your eyes are going. Here, eventually two hands will come to the floor, you walk yourself forward into like a plank. And from here, you bring your hips back towards the heels, walking your arms to your sides for balance. And the first thing you do, you pull your abs in and think about making your spine long, crowning your head towards the ceiling. And then you take your time, maybe one hand, two hands, palms of prayer, or maybe you clap. Here, you slowly make your way out of the posture like you went in. Stand tall. And once again, not easy, acknowledge the standing series, hard work, you take your time, turn around, lie down for a Shivasana. So Shivasana is definitely a pose, you want to lie on the floor. And once again, a space of awareness, noticing your heartbeat, noticing your breath, controlling your breathing, right? You want to cut the autonomic breathing system off, so you want to cut auto autopilot off, and you want to go manual, filling your lungs, empty your lungs. Lungs are full, lungs are empty as we rest. So for the remainder of the class, we'll be on the floor, um, spine strengthening the series, and doing the animals. All right, next up is Papa Mutasana. Inhale, bring your right leg, your right knee up. So you want to hug that right knee in towards the shoulder. You're a little bit narrow in the hips to waist. You want to bring the knee closer towards the chest to sternum. All about length. You start to find that compression in the ascending colon. And now isolate the biceps, bringing the arms to your sides. Relaxing the shoulders down, slight tuck of the chin, flex to the extended leg, point of that toe, pull the knee in and fill your lungs up. And change, lower the right leg down. It's always breath, it's always moving. Inhale, left leg, left knee, you'll pull it up. 
you'll pull it in. Two sides not the same, so maybe the knee's a little bit closer towards your shoulder, or maybe it's to the sternum, right? You're looking for your space, right? Two sides not the same. We're looking for compression, first and foremost. You got your compression, biceps work, arms are in, shoulders rest, chin is tucked, foot is flexed, abs are in, pull the knee in, fill your lungs up, and change, lower the right and left leg down. Here we go, inhale, two legs, two knees, elbows, arms, forearm, fingertips. So whatever you can get, you wanna pull it in, grab it. Ideally, we would like to have the knees, chin, and feet together, but if it doesn't happen, you just want to work toward that space. So you got your knees, your chest, and sternum. Here's where the stretch actually happens. Pull your abs in. You want to roll up like a roly-poly, forehead to the knees, eyebrows to the knees. You get that length. And now you take your time. Relax the shoulders down. Relax the hips down, but the knees don't move. Roll your shoulders towards your hips to get the hips to sink. And now you change. Lower your legs down, feet together, toes fall apart, palms face the ceiling. Here we go, 26 and 2. Inhale, right leg up, pull that knee in. You can do a non-dominant non, um, non grip, switching out the thumbs, pulling that knee in, right back to that sweet spot, right? The, butt, the muscle memory, you go right back to that space. You start to breathe. Go back to finding that length, looking for that compression. Fill your lungs up, fill your lungs up, fill your lungs up. Change, lower the right leg down. Inhale, left leg, left knee. You want to pull it in, squeeze it in, breathe it in. Looking for that compression into descending colon, right? Working on our internal digestive systems, the digestive posture, less about the hips. You got your length, you got the compression, and you just feel those lungs up, feel those lungs up. Change, lower the left leg down. Here we go, inhale, two legs, two knees, opposite elbow, opposite arm. It's all about compression. Roll up tight, knees to the chest, knees to the sternum. It's transverse colon work. So you want to feel that compression. You want to start to breathe, but at the same time now, you want to try to lengthen your spine back to the floor. One day when your spine is healthy, your entire spine will be flat on the floor, coccyx to the tailbone, and change. Lower your legs down, feet together, toes fall apart, palms face the ceiling. So in our practice, we have sit-ups. If you got back stuff, you'll skip or modify the sit-ups. But in this space, if you got one, let's do one. Feet together, heels, toes, touch, thumbs, cross, arms, ears, roll up. Double exhale, forward to the knees, elbows to the floor. You'll spin yourself around. Cobra, Bougie, and Gossin is next. Going into our spine strengthening series. Um, the most important part of our practice, right? Spinal health directly impacts our quality of life. So you want those palms flat to the floor. Fingertips in line with the shoulders, no cuppy hands. You see yourself, you got grasshopper arms, you got one leg, all about length, lengthen your spine. Inhale, bring your body up, extend your chest forward. Press your hands down, your elbows are bent. The eyes come up, the forehead's relaxed, the shoulders and elbows roll back towards the hips. Press those hips down and change. Lower yourself down, look to the right, left ear on your man towel. Breath is steady, mind is steady. Let's go, it's round two. Palms are flat, you wanna challenge yourself. You bring those hands, palms closer, to, palms closer towards the hips to waist. See those grasshopper arms in the mirror? You got one leg, and here we go. Inhale, peel your body up. Extend your chest forward. Bring your eyes up. Relax the forehead down. Roll your shoulders back. Bring the elbows back. Press the hips down. Press the feet down. Belly button comes up. Change. Lower yourself down. Arm by your sides. Look to the left. Right ear on the top as you breathe into your back. Next up is locust salabasana. So here you take your time, you turn those palms flat, you rock left, rock right. So carpal tunnel, tennis elbow. So notice if you bring your hands in, your shoulders start to come together. Bring the hands out and give me the length. Your chest is the fulcrum. So two shoulders, they stay apart, and you try to bring the hands in. From this space, you relax your left leg, you point your right toe, it is down for up. You press down, right leg goes up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Lower the right leg down, relax your right leg, point your left toe, left leg, let's go. Inhale, left leg lifts for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Left legs down, shift your body weight forward. So here, once again, you're making an adjustment to hands, palms, chest is forward, right? Get the body weight forward. Once This is the posture right here, those are the warm up. It is down foot. Press your chest down, press your arms down, press those legs up for 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Legs down, arms out, look right, left ear on the man towel. Breath is steady, mind is steady. Relax those shoulders away from your ears in this space. We always want to look for length in the neck. Not a strain, but just feel a little more length in the cervical spine. It is round two. Turn those palms flat like you're going to serve a volleyball. 
right? Get those hands pumped as comfortable underneath the body as you can. Relax that left leg, point that right toe, it's down for up. Right leg up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Right leg is down, right leg is relaxed. Once again, it's down for up. Point that left toe, left leg up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You lower your left leg down, open the chest, open the shoulder, shift your weight forward. Breath is steady, mind is steady, two legs, chest down, arms down, both legs up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Legs down, arms out, look left, right here on your mat towel, and you start to breathe, relaxing the shoulders away from the ears. Breath is steady, mind is steady. All right, Pono Salavasana, full locust, airplane wing pose. So here, you got your arms out, five fingers together, palms in line with your shoulders. It's all about extension. It's all about length, right? You want to mute gravity, you mute gravity with the reach. Gravity can do down longer than you can do up. So here, look for your reach. Take your time. Inhale, and let's go. Inhale, arms out, chest forward, legs back, arms out, chest forward, legs back. Eyes up, shoulders down, fingertips up, palms rotate forward, change, lower yourself down, looking to the right, left ear on your mat in towel. Slowing your breath, slowing your breathing, that's what makes it a hit exercise, breathing with cadence and rhythm, taking your heart rate down. Here we go, round two, bring those arms out, bring those feet together. Once again, the Simon Says Yoga, inhale, reach the arms, bring your body up, bring your feet up, bring your chest up. Bring your shin up, bring your head up, but everything is reaching all four directions. The further you reach, the higher you go. The further you reach, the higher you go. You reach, you reach, change. Lower yourself down, look to the left, right here on the mat towel. Dhanurasana, bow pulling pose is our next posture, right? Full spine right here. We went through the spine. Um, cobra, low back. Upper back, salabhasana, middle back spine, pono salabhasana, now down your rasana, full spine. So you reach around, grab those feet from the outside, little baby fingers, just below the toe line, no hook in the wrist. Chin is on the mat. Before you bring the body up, go ahead and kick up, kick back, get those knees up. All right, you got your knees up, squeeze the glute, point the toe, get those thighs up. Once you got the thighs up, you bring the eyes up, but come forward to the soft part of your belly. And here, the longer your spine is, the higher you go. Spine gets long. Head and feet, head and feet, they meet, change. Lower yourself down, look to the right, left ear on your mantle. Breath is steady, mind is steady, smooth as silk, smooth as glass, elongating the spine. A lot of compression in that posture, squeezing the both kidneys. It's a back bend. All right, here we go, it's round two. You reach around and grab those feet from the outside. Little baby fingers below the toe line. The wrists are straight. Your chin's on the mat. Here you go, take your time. Inhale, you kick up, kick back, kick up, kick back. Point the toe, squeeze the glute, head up, eyes up. And once again, it is with the limp. Bring that chest forward. And once again, it's head and feet, they meet. Head and feet, they meet, they meet. Change, lower yourself down. Look to the left, right here on your man towel. So coming on our spine stretching series, we have one push-up in a practice. You got one, you do it. Push yourself up, press yourself up. Top of your man towel, fix firm, hero's pose, supta vindrasana. So you're at the top of your mat. You'll separate the knees, the feet, hip width distance. Bringing your hips on the floor in between your heels. If your hips on the floor in between your heels, you bring your hands to your feet, thumbs on the inside, fingers on the outside. Walking yourself back, using the elbows, using the arms, never pressing. If your knees start to pop up, you be on your flexibility. If you can't breathe, you be on your flexibility. Taking your time, top of the head on the floor, back of the head on the floor, shoulders on the floor. And you tuck your chin, bring the elbows, arms over the head, and we once again want to create the perfect human bridge. Like I said earlier in the practice, you always look at the elongate the spine so your shoulders go one way, your knees go the opposite of what direction to elongate your spine to give yourself that perfect human bridge. You bring your hands palm back to your feet, use your elbows, your arms, you bring yourself up, walk yourself up, turn yourself around, lie down for a shavasana. All right, second set, fix firm. Let's do a sit up, feet together, heels, toes touch, thumbs crossed, arms, ears, roll up. Double exhale, forward to the knees, elbows to the floor. Second set, fix firm, so you'll separate the knees, separate the feet, hips on the floor, in between your heels, bring your hands to your feet. And once again, you take your time, you walk yourself back, elbows, arms. 
Come all the way back, top of the head on the floor, back of the head on the floor, shoulders on the floor. And this, once again, is the tuck of the chin, elbows, arms, each other over the, over the head. And once again, if you can start to bring your knees together, I'm not saying squeeze your knees together, but you just give the energy, knees together, and create that perfect human bridge. We don't struggle, we don't fight. It's a game of millimeters, centimeters. You just breathe, elongate your spine, elongate the breathing. It's a knee unlocking posture, slowing down the blood flow to everything below your knees. Taking your time when you're ready, you bring your hands to your feet, elbows, arms. You walk yourself up, turn around, lie down for a Shavasana. All right, you got to sit up. Let's do one. Feet together, heels, toes, touch, thumbs, cross, arms, ears, roll up. Double exhale, forward to the knees, elbows to the floor. You spin yourself around, back of your mat, back of your towel, Ardha Pramasana, have tortoise. So at the back of the mat is a strength posture, hips on your heels, abs are in. Use the breath and movement, inhale your arms up, hands, palms, prayer, thumbs across, abs engage, biceps, ears. You want to hinge forward from your hips and use your knees to slow your descent. Keep bringing your hands away from the floor, trying to get your forehead on the floor before your hands hit the floor. Once you establish your best effort in that, you want to protect your shoulders, roll your shoulders back towards your hips. Sink your hips back towards your heels, squeezing your knees, your feet, your thighs, everything together. Noticing if your chin's crept back towards your chest, you gently bring your chin away from your chest, pressing your chest in the floor. And it's the posture to say we get eight hours worth of rest in about 20, 30 seconds. So here we go. Take care of your rest. Reach those arms forward. Pull those abs in. And now change. Inhale. You come up. Flat back. Straight spine. You get to the top. Turn yourself around. Lie down for a Shavasana. Again, I always say you want to take care of yourself, but if you got one, let's do one. Feet together, heels, toes, touch, thumbs, cross, arms, ears, roll up. Double exhale, forward to the knees, elbows to the floor. Spin yourself around, second set. Have tortoise, breath is steady, mind is steady. Inhale the arms up, hands, palms, prayer. Pull those abs in, hinge from the hips, and let's go. Come forward, fall forward. Hands on the head on the floor before the hands touch the floor. Hips sink back, shoulders roll back. Knees, feet, thighs, shin, all those things are pulling in. Abs are in. Notice if your chin is crept towards your chest. You want to bring your chin gently away from your chest. Press your chest into the floor beyond your knees, beyond your thighs. Reach your hands forward. Pull those abs in. Use your knees to reach your side abdominal obliques as you change. And he'll come up with a flat back. Straight spine. You get to the top. Nice. Turn around. Lie down for Shavasana. Breath is steady. Mind is steady. Smooth as silk. Smooth as glass, going into our Shavasana. Get ready to go into our anti-anxiety posture. Lustrasana camel. Always taking our time, but first we gotta sit up, let's do one. Feet together, heels, toes, touch, thumbs, cross, arms, ears, right here, you roll up. Double exhale, forward to the knees, elbows to the floor. Spin yourself around, come to the top of your mat towel. It's hip was distance between your knees, hip was distance between your feet. Bringing your hands, palms down on your glutes, pressing your hips forward, relaxing your shoulders down. And once again, let the head fall back. And all you want to do is breathe. You're coming up and over that exercise ball. The hips don't sink back. Length in breath, length in body. It's not about how far you go. It's how far can you go and continue to breathe smooth. Once again, you're still in a comfortable space. You go ahead and you grab for the heels, reach for the heels. And immediately once the hands come to the heels, you immediately bring stomach, thighs, chest, all those things. You press them forward. Relax those shoulders. And here, once again, when you're ready to come out, you bring your hands palm into your low back spine, come out safely, turn yourself around, lie down for a Shavasana. All right, get ready to go to our second camel. You got to sit up, let's do one. Feet together, heels, toes, touch, thumbs, cross, arms, ears, roll up. Double exhale, forward to your knees, elbows to the floor. Turn yourself around, second camel. So you bring 10 inches, 12 inches between your knees, 6 inches between your feet. All right, that's a little bit more um, forgiving or the hips are open. If you want to isolate, you bring knees, feet, shin, everything in. Either way, your hands, palm continue to low back. Either way, you're breathing smooth and you come up and over that exercise ball. Length in breath, length in body. You're elongating your spine. There's nothing crunching. Press those hips forward. Press those thighs forward. Lift that chest up. You got a grip on the heels. Once again, you're not resting on your heels. You're actually holding your heels down. That's how far forward you got that energy. Pressing forward, press forward, press forward, chest up. Hands, palms, low back spine. Take your time. Turn around. When you're ready, lie down for a Shavasana. Once again, camel anti-anxiety posture. You may feel a little lightheaded come out of camel, but we battle through. Always looking to break your threshold. You got to sit up, let's do one. Feet together, heels, toes, touch, thumbs, cross, arms, ears. You roll up. Double exhale, forward to the knees, elbows to the floor. Get to the top, spin yourself around, back of your mantel. 
um, Sasangasana, rabbit pose. So here you got your hands on your feet. So it's all about length. You want to take your time, inhale, find some length, tuck your chin to your chest. You want to look to your belly button and you just want to hinge forward the hips, working the forehead to the knees, the eyebrows to the knees. Once you're in that space, you get a nice tight grip on your heels. You got the grip on your heels. And here you want to press your feet down, shift the hips up. We're not looking to have more than 10, 15 percent body weight on the top of your head. Shin down, hips up, knees down, hips up. You don't want to just feel your thoracic spine, your middle spine. You want to feel your entire spine. The more of your spine you feel, the straighter the arms will go, the higher the hips will go. You keep the eyes open, keep the abs engaged, and you hook those heels. You change, inhale, you roll up, round up, chin comes up, you get to the top, you turn around, lie down for Shavasana. We go sit up feet together heels toes touch thumbs cross arms ears here we go you roll up roll up roll up double exhale forward to the knees elbows to the floor second set rapid so you're the back of your mat your back of your towel the abs are in your spine is long your chin is tucked let's go let's roll in round in throat choked eyes open it is third eye contact point forehead to the knee got the eyebrows on the knee now here we go feet down hips up shin down hips up knees down hips up the more of your spine you feel, the longer the arms will get, the straighter the arms will get, the more length you have in your spine, the higher the heel, hips will come. And one day, the hips are coming so far forward, the only thing that is keeping you from doing a forward roll is the grip of the hands on the heels. Keep those eyes open, keep those abs engaged. As you change and heel, you roll up, round up, chin comes up. You get to the top, turn around, lie down for Shivasana. So that was one of our last asana. We come into our stretching poses and our spine twists as we get to close our practice out. Breath is steady, mind is steady. If you have a sit up, let's do a sit up. Feet together, heels, toes touch, thumbs cross, arms, ears. Right here, you roll up, roll up, roll up. Double exhale, forehead to the knees, elbows to the floor. All right, you spin yourself around, turn, turn yourself around. You don't want to sit on your tailbone, you want to sit on, sit on, be sitting on your sits bones, right? So you walk the hips back a little bit. Bring that right leg out, bring that left foot into your right thigh bicep. Inhale your arms up, interlock all ten fingers, turn towards that flex foot. And you want to take your time and you just want to roll in, round in, throat choked, eyes open. Work in the third eye contact point, even if you have to bend the knee, you bring your knee towards your forehead. Pressing the heel away, pulling the toes in, adding that little contraction. But basically it's the abs and eyes, you're looking towards the belly button, the eyes direct the spine. The abs are what lock the forehead to your knee. You want to contract that quad and let gravity bring you down forehead to your knee. Change, inhale, arms up. You reach up, trying to switch out without um, losing the arms. If you can, you do so, switching that left leg out, bringing that right foot in, shifting those hips back, find your sit sits bones, not your tailbone, turn towards that flex left foot, and let's go. You roll in, round in, throat choke, eyes open. This third eye contact point will be work for first and foremost. And once again, the heel is coming in, the toes are coming away. But now, are your hips square? So you want to square the hips. Can you level out the shoulders? Level out the shoulders. Contract the quad, light contraction of the quad. We don't want to overcontract the quad to hyperextend the knee, to injure the knee. And here you want to take your time, bring those elbows, arms in, and just want to slowly get that length, connect the tissue here at the end of the practice, which is nice and warm, and change. Inhale, arms up. You sit tall, two legs straight. Once the legs are straight, you lie down, shoulders touch the floor. Let's go. Roll up. Roll up, roll up, roll up. Double exhale, forehead to the knees, elbows to the floor. So it's peace sign fingers. You want to hook the big toes. You want to hop, walk the hips back 10, 15, 20 times. You want to get off the meat, get onto your sits bones. So always straight spine before straight legs. So you straighten your spine, extend your chest forward, keep your chin away from your chest. And here you go. Start to use and stretch yourself forward. So you actually can't use the hands. It's ab work, so it's abs. Pull the abs in. Draw your stomach to the thighs. Press the heels away. Pull the toes in. Once again, in this space, feel your lungs, find more limb, and exhale, you want to fall forward, come forward, forehead to the chin, elbows to the floor, outside of your calf muscles. Change, inhale, you come up, turn around, lie down for Shivasana. All right. Got to sit up, let's do one. Feet together, heels, toes touch, thumbs cross, arms, ears. Let's roll up, roll up, roll up. Double exhale, forward to the knees, elbows to the floor. Take your time. Second set, strip, set the leg stretching. So here we go. Right leg is out, left foot is in, hips are square, spine is long. Take your time, tuck that chin. Let's roll in, round in, throat choke, eyes open, third eye contact point. 
forehead to your knee, hips square, shoulders even, quads contract, working the back of that leg, back of that knee on the floor, using those abs to block the forehead to your knee, and change, inhale, arms up, legs straight, you switch it out, trying to keep the arms in there, you want to find, get off the tailbone, find your sits bones, turn and face that flex foot, let's go, you roll in, round in, throat choke, eyes open, third eye contact point, forehead to your knee, Toes are in, heels away, abs engaged, shoulders even, taking your time, lengthen breath, lengthen body, use those abs and change. Inhale, you sit tall, two legs are straight, the legs are straight, you lie down, shoulders touch the floor. Come on, let's sit up. Sit up, sit up. Double exhale, forward to the knees, elbows to the floor. Pashimo, so here we go. Peace sign fingers, hook those toes, pull those abs in, always a straight spine before straight legs. Walking those hips back, using those abs to draw your stomach to your thighs, using that breath to lengthen your spine. And here you go, stretch yourself forward, you're coming forward, you don't overextend, heels away, toes are in, taking your time, forehead to the shin, elbows one day fall to the floor outside of your calf muscles. Change, inhale, you come up, turn around, lie down for Shivasana. All right, we're winding down. This is spine twist and a breathing exercise. So here we go. Feet together, heels, toes, touch, thumbs, cross, arms, ears. Roll up, roll up, roll up. Double exhale, forward to the knees, elbows to the floor. So you extend your left leg long. Bring your right heel to your left knee corner. If you can get your left heel back in towards your right hip, you do so. Bring your right hand to the base of your spine. You turn the face to right. And you take your left arm, you bring it up and over that left leg, whatever you can get. You get your grab, you get your grip, relax your shoulders, bring your chin away from your chest. And once again, you're going to use your abs and use the breath. The eyes lead the asana, the spine, the breath leads the asana. Taking your time, using the abs, using the arms, using the eyes. Think about looking around the clock, you're taking your time. Millimeters and centimeters, you look over that shoulder, you twist, you twist, you twist. Change, take your time, inhale, you'll sit tall. Here we go, right leg is straight, left heel, right knee corner. Maybe you can get that right heel back towards the left hip without sitting on that right hip. Heel, bring that left hand behind your spine. You're turning face to the left. You bring that right arm up and over, whatever you can get. Ideally, you want right hand, right knee, left ankle in one space. Your shoulders relax, your chin away from your chest. You pull those abs in. Eyes lead the spine, breath leads the asana. And you start to slow, give yourself a slow, gentle twist. It's T8, T12, middle back spine twist. Using the arms, using the breath, you're taking your time. You're looking across the clock, you're looking across the back of the room, the wall. The slower you go, the more you get out of your body, you twist, you twist, you twist. Change, take your time, turn around, lie down for Shivasana. All right, we got two breathing exercises before we get out of here at the end. Couple body in drops, but first give me a sit up. Feet together, heels, toes, touch, thumbs, cross, arms, ears. Here we go. Roll up, roll up, roll up. Double exhale, forward to the knees, elbows to the floor. And here we go. Spin around, get our breathing exercise in the couple body. We do one so slow set, one fast set. So you want to take your time. You always want to have spine long, pulling the abs in. All you're going to do is exhale, pressing the CO2 out from all the autonomic breathing you do day in and day out, right? So we want to clear the lungs, keeping the spine straight, lick your lips, swallow, fill those lungs up. I clap, you breathe. Let's go. and swallow a little bit right here, taking a reset, always feel good, Just charging the body up, putting our immune system, putting our bodies in the best space by charging the cells up, right? All right, here we go, second set, half the time, on the way out, let's go, lick those lips, swallow, I clap, let's go. everybody for tuning in be hot um our video we got more videos coming from other teachers and stuff um stay tuned we'll keep you all posted follow us on social media to keep you abreast of everything that's going on namaste